People affected by gun violence in Roanoke gathered tonight to talk about how to stop more senseless deaths. Roanoke Remembers invited loved ones of people killed by gunshots to share their stories and let out the pain they've carried with them. Ted News reporter Taj Simmons tells us how they tried to heal their hurt. All it takes is one gunshot to shatter a family forever. My dad was killed by a man with a gun at a convenience store. He took a gun and he shot him. Tanija Rivera knows it. And this memorial at Roanoke Remembers was a window into the pain loved ones killed by bullets are still feeling. Malik Salah has not been the same since his dad Jacob died in the shooting last October. Every day I wake up and I look at my dad, but from a photo. And I can never call him. It, it's, it's permanent, so everybody needs to realize that it's, it's going to last forever. And David Mitchell's stepson, Jake Aldridge, was shot and killed a year ago. Aldridge was only 19. It's a different kind of pain, I think, that you go through. Uh, when you lose somebody to a violent act like that, uh, especially someone so young like Jake. These tragic tales are part of Roanoke's story, but this book has no ending. May we be kept That's why the crowd at Roanoke Remembers united to start a new peaceful chapter in the city. Rivera shared her story on stage. He died when I was eight and it's been 11 years. And a bullet came out and a bullet hit my father and now he is dead. And that's the reality of it all. And Salah did the same. He's optimistic sharing his pain can stop people from inflicting the same pain on other families. We need to change. We need to be better than that. We need to be better people. It's, it's not the hard to talk to somebody and realize that, hey, it's not worth it, man. We, we can be friends. We don't have to be enemies. There's no easy answer to gun violence. But with this many motivated people in one place, Roanoke may at least have a place to start. In Roanoke, Taj Simmons, 10 News, working for you. Attendees wrote down their ideas to stop gun violence, which the task force will look over. They also received a list of mental health resources to help them cope with their trauma.